Hello everyone, and welcome to As Far As The Eye, and the second generation of the Whisper Tribe, who, as you guys saw last time, unfortunately met an untimely end, leaving behind just one new pupil who appeared out of nowhere, and I immediately decided absolutely had to be Aubrey and the cell's child. So we have right over here, little Akamas. And we thought about trying to hold together the Whisper Tribe with little Akamas being the only one left. However, he was starving to death very quickly. There were two back-to-back -back earthquakes that destroyed all of the buildings that had been constructed by his family. And instead, we were doing our best to just try to hope that another tribe would wander by, find him, and rescue him. And that is where our story is now picking up. So little Akamas, as a lost toddler, was actually collected by another tribe. He became friends with them and they taught him many things. And then when the time came and he became an adult, that tribe allowed him and two others to split away to try to find their own nomadic journey across the world to the distant eye. And uh, the other two with him are T, and Polly Prime, who we're going to call Polly. Polly Prime prefers to be called Polly Prime, but everyone calls her Polly instead. And T and Polly decided to accompany T and kind of establish their own little caravan, as youngsters sometimes are ought to do when they are ready to leave the tribe. And here we are. So we're going to begin on a brand new procedurally generated world that we have never seen before. Uh, and we are going to begin with a brand new path to the eye. And we're going to have just the heritage. And Ak uh, Akamas actually ended up being hardworking again, which I really liked, which means that he cannot be motivated to move for any reason other than to do work. So we can't use him to just explore around willy-nilly. He almost died as a child. His whole tribe, the Whisper tribe, disappeared around him. He knows how important it is to work very hard and is determined to always be working. And then he also is Indian, uh, Indian, which when he's not doing anything, he won't consume any food because he learned how not to, not to eat when he was little. And that's so sad. <laughs> so that is Akamas. With T, T is very fast and can actually have a bonus to movement of plus one movement. And they cannot harvest any fish because they are allergic to fish. So I thought that was very interesting. And I thought maybe I could interpret that as T not wanting to eat fish. But I actually get the feeling from their personality that T would really love to eat fish, almost in, in revenge of not being able to touch them. Like, take this, you are now grilled, and I shall consume you as a delicious ration instead. And then we have Lily Polly Pahim, who is sturdy and has 30 more health points than the usual pupil, uh, and is an eternal beginner. So Polly Pahim is kind of stuck up, but also there's not a lot going on upstairs, you could say. So they will never end up becoming a specialist and they will always be in these beginner ranks instead. And that is very important to recognize because I didn't notice it last time with the first generation of the Whisper Tribe, but you do actually need to have a certain type of specialist to go to the different halts. So if we look at the halts that we can pick, there is the big Sacred Lake halt, which would require stone and cereal and grower too. So I didn't notice that last time, that it does require a certain kind of skilled member of your group. So if we don't have somebody who has reached grower two level, we will not be able to get to the big Sacred Lakes halt. The other choice that we have on our path is the big canyon halt, which will require gatherer level two, as well as 188 pumpkin and wood. So if we don't have someone who is gatherer level two, we won't be able to even go to the canyon, even if we had all of the materials that we needed. And then finally, and very interestingly, we have the medium protected halt, which requires trapper level two and 300 fish and looks like a little jungle. So those are the three halts we have to pick from. And one of the things I also noticed when I was exploring this new world is that each of the trails is actually named as well. So this trail is the plowed fields that will guide us from the big balanced halt to the big sacred lake halt. 
This trail is the way of the purple panda, which I thought was hilarious, that will guide us from the Big Balanced Halt to the Big Canyon Halt. And this trail is the way of the bear, which will guide us from Big Balanced Halt to that medium protected halt that looks kind of like a jungle. So there's a lot of options about where we could go, and I haven't quite made up my mind about where to head off just yet. Do we want to go the route where we need to focus on stone gathering and growing? Do we want to go the route where we need to focus on gathering pumpkin and gathering wood? Do we want to go the route where we focus on gathering tons and tons and tons of fish and becoming a trapper? And then also as I was looking at the halts, I realized the route we pick is very important for the next step. If we go up to the big Sacred Lakes halt, then the only path is across the Eternal Plains to a medium rainforest. So we would have to go to this rainforest to go any further. There's no other path from the big Sacred Lakes. If we go to this big canyon halt, we could go to the medium rainforest if we wanted to, and if we took 600 fish with us, holy cow, down the other way of the bear, or we could go across the collapsed bridge, apparently rebuild it behind us with ore and stone, and end up at the big fertile lands halt. So that is kind of intriguing too. But you cannot get to the big fertile lands directly from the second halts, uh, un unless you go to the big canyon. That's the only path. So you really have to kind of look carefully at the halts to figure out where you want to head next. If we went to this mysterious jungle, we would have to go to the medium rainforest, or we would have to go to this small canyon halt that would need knowledge and ore to get through it. So that gives you an idea of how to prepare for going further ahead. And I think depending on the adventure, we want the Whisperer tribe, second generation, to have, we could go in many directions. I'm sort of leaning towards, I really wanted to go to this jungle, but I'm sort of leaning towards the big canyon so that we can go directly to the big fertile lands. However, we're gonna have to go ahead and see what these little ones discover first. So let's get started. Let's see. Do we have any wood? We do not have any wood. So let's go ahead and get everybody collecting some wood. And then once we do that, we can start acknowledging the fact that we have a plains animal. We have got a ton of wool in every direction. We have got some spices and some birds. And the lakes? I don't think the lakes have any fish in them, interestingly enough. Alright. There we go. Look at everybody, they've all turned into cute little bears. They're all gonna bring back that wood. Yes, okay. And we might tentatively want to think about going down the way of the purple panda to the big canyon. Just tentatively for now, just so that we, we at least know we need to have gatherer level two as somebody to like be that high. And I think everybody is currently working on gatherer class. Yeah, they're all working on gatherer class. And to get to Gatherer 2, I think, requires Gatherer 3, requires Gatherer 3. I think Gatherer 2, maybe that's like a full knowledge cycle, like getting up to the knowledge level. We'll have to see. Because Polyplame, it, like there's no note on how much they have on gathering right now. So let's let them continue to gather wood for just a little bit. We learned last time how absolutely important that is to everyone. All right, Polyparim, hard worker, or Poly the Akamas, who almost died, is the hard worker. But maybe I should let them all work on gathering the wood until they get to plus five pimpkin and wood per cycle. Let's work on that. And then I think we need, there's no fish. So we need to think about how we're going to start getting our food. I'm a little nervous about that. All right. Are you guys leveled up yet? I probably won't regret having them finish leveling up because we always need wood, like a ton of wood. And there's so much wood just like right here and they can all get experience together that way. There, look at that. What did I just say? They all just got their experience and now I think they're gatherer level one. All right, let's see your trade. So I think that's level one. And then if they kept going, they would get knowledge per harvest cycle. Okay, maybe we should keep going with that while we have, but we're really starting to run low on the food, so probably not. 
<laughs> All right, Akamas will continue to gather the wood for now. And since T has extra movement, we're actually going to let T do a little bit of exploring because we need to figure out where we're going and what we're doing. And we're gonna let Polly Parim maybe start working on gathering the pumpkin because that would still count as a gatherer skill, I believe. So it might help us get to what could be gatherer level two. <gasps> Look at all the birds and so much pumpkin. So maybe going to the big canyon halt would be the right choice. We'll have to see. All right, come on, T. There's a few fish. There's so many birds. I hate to say it, but th this tribe may become a, a feather flock tribe. Maybe we can pretend that the birds can give us eggs instead of meat. That Oh, that would be wonderful, actually. To just pretend we were gathering eggs instead of meat from them. That would be really nice. There's a couple planes that we could put down some crops. Oh, here's more fish. I think T, T being allergic to fish can't harvest them, but I think T would actually really love to eat fish for some reason. All right, let's have T continue to explore this direction, I think. Oh, some of the rare, rare birds. Oh, wow. And over here, here's some ore, stone, one of these remains. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll hold off on exploring the remains for right now. Until we have maybe a druid. Oh geez, we just stumbled on a ton of remains. There are so many birds. I think we're going to have to admit that what we probably need to work on is gathering these birds <laughs> for food. Which I don't want to do, but I'm going to be realistic. So while T explores, um, I may have Polyprim. I may have Polyprim come over and Polly might build a hunting lodge, which would be a hundred wood. And I would want to build the hunting lodge right here because it'd be surrounded by birds. And there's plenty of places to get wool from elsewhere. So I'm going to wait for Polly Prim to pull in. Oop, oop, oop. Who's not doing anything? Akamas? You're doing something. Oh, it's T. All right, let's have T continue to explore along these edges. Oh, we already removed all the wood. Akamas, you are just like <laughs> diligent. Akamas is just like, I know what I am here for. I know what I'm doing. I am gathering this wood. Um, gosh, and working on, I think, gatherer level two. Building an, oh, gathering for the little caravan. The caravan's name, by the way, is, um, oh, it was Honi, H-O-N-I. Uh, Honi, uh, which apparently you can see their names before the caravan settles down to nap while you spend your time collecting. I thought that was precious. All right, let's see. Oh, cancel. T, what you doing? Yeah, there's so many birds. I just don't think there's any way we could... Oh, and there's a second pack animal! <gasps> yes! Oh, that tickles me. Okay, so let's come over. And we'll wait for Polly Prim to gather the last of this pumpkin. At this point, T might be able to go ahead. Yes, there's quite a bit, a teeny bit more exploring to do. <gasps> a sacred site! Oh my gosh! Unknown! Explore the sacred site to re retrieve or exchange resources there by selecting a pupil and then right clicking the site. Send an herbalist or druid to analyze the sacred site to know its effects by doing the same. Oh my gosh. So we need to either analyze it or explore it. I want to explore that. We need to have a druid of some kind. Maybe T be the druid because we need to understand what that awesomeness is. Uh, all right. So I think we have fully explored quite a bit. We have so many birds. We have two pack animals this time. We do not have very much wood this time. I'm, I'm really noticing that. Like, there's only a few patches of wood. So we're going to want to be really careful on our wood, especially if we want to go to the big canyon halt. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now, we want to start thinking about food for sure. And there's so much pemmican. Hmm. Do we have enough fish if we wanted to go the fish route? I actually don't know if we have enough fish to get 400 fish. So even though I really think that go, or 300 fish, even though I think the way of the bear would be really fascinating to go down, we'll have to wait and see if that's even something 
that's realistic to be able to go to that jungle zone. And I do think it would be quite interesting to go to the big sacred halt, the big sacred lake, because Akamas was raised by the first generation of the Whisper tribe. And we wanted so bad for Faza to be able to go to the sacred lake to heal. And it just never happened. However, going across the way of the purple panda <laughs> And then heading into the collapsed bridge would be very interesting, too. Oh, my goodness. Do we have any gatherer twos? What about Akamas? I think Akamas is close to gatherer two, maybe. I think this is like gatherer one. Okay. All right, T, let's have you go ahead and build since we're going to eventually need the cookhouse anyway. <laughs> Uh, if I wanted to make the mobile hunting lodge, we would need ore, we would need stone, we would need wool. We just don't have time for that. So we're going to go ahead and put the hunting lodge itself right here. Yes, even though it chases away. Well, do I want to chase away that wool? Mm, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of wool elsewhere. So we're going to build the hunting lodge right here. Chase away those little alpaca. I hate to become a hunter, but again, we'll, we'll say that we're gathering the eggs and the, the feathers. <laughs> oh, look at little T as a little bird. Building everything. That's so much fun. All right. So we finished building that. And we need to work on getting a cookhouse up soon, too. Oh, they've even hung the birds up dead. No, 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 no. We're gathering their eggs. We're gathering their eggs. We're, we're just gathering their eggs. It's fine. Yeah. All right, so Akamas has gathered as much of the wood as he can. I'm going to have him start gathering the pumpkin as well. And we'll let them work on pumpkin. And I think I'm going to have T build a cookhouse. We need a mobile cookhouse would be even better. And we need, wait, cookhouse. Yeah, cookhouse will take the meat or the eggs from the birds and make food out of it. We need stone and wool in order to be able to make a mobile one. Hmm. So you know what? I guess a quarry, where should we put the quarry? Hmm. There's no resources on that mountain. There is not very much stone here. Ooh, we're gonna wanna be very careful. So I think we're gonna just go all in on bird. Bird and pumpkin is going to be our major food resources because we can't make too much stone uh, and we won't be able to gather very much stone. And then we'll also want, I believe, oh, harvest hut, harvesting pumpkin. Now that would be useful. So maybe, oh, here, maybe I'll actually have Akamas build a harvest hut. Um, oh, and we also, actually what would be more useful so we can clear that that plains animal away and put the harvest hut over here is if I get a pasture made. So let's actually have Akamas build a pasture. Right here would be totally fine because it's surrounded by many spots for wool. So we're gonna have Akamas build pasture there. And then T, I want you to be able to make that mobile cookhouse and that's going to need stone. So I'm going to have T make a quarry over here. And we're going to have to be very, very careful with our wood. There's still wood, but there's less stone, so noted. All right, let's get those done. I am definitely working hard to keep Akamas alive this time. Akamas has built that. Excellent. And let's come over and tame this pack animal. Becoming a grower for just a moment, Akamas. Oh, I love it! And now Akamas is inviting the pack animal into the tribe. That is so wonderful. And once he has that done, he can return to trying to become an expert grower, which I think is, is his desire. And meanwhile, T, I'm going to have you work on gathering up that stone. Oh, and this is just so lovely. But all right, guys. So we have our new tribe. I'm pretty pleased with what we have been doing with them. 
I am very happy that we have managed to find so many sacred sites and it's very interesting because this is a very very different world than the other Whisper Tribes world and we're gonna have to manage the resources very carefully. I cannot wait to see where their story goes though. Already it has gotten so interesting and so dramatic and so full of birds. And Pimpkin! But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our second generation of the Whisper Tribe. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye